Hello friends, welcome to Pioneer of Success. We are adding another video in the two-phase flow series. In this video, we will be talking about inkjet flow through a nozzle. This particular file is available in Comsol library. However, we are adding this video in our playlist so that you understand the technical details of this particular model and that helps you developing your research problem. So here is the schematic of the problem. There is a nozzle you can see here. This part is full of ink and the other part is full of air. Through this nozzle, what we do? We push the ink through it and it comes out as a drop. How it exactly comes out and how we can exactly model it, that is the context of today's discussion. Before I move on to the technical part of today's discussion, I would like to make an announcement we have, we have initiated a service where we help researchers to develop their COMSOL model. If you want to avail this service, write to me in the email ID given in the description box. I'll set up video meetings with you and we'll try to solve your problem. So without further delay, let me go to the today's discussion. Initially, we want to show the parameters which will be used for this particular simulation. All those parameters will be necessary to build up the geometry and this particular simulation will be doing in axis symmetric case because uh, there is a symmetry and if you solve in a section in axis symmetric model then it will actually help us reducing the computational time. So this is the purpose of taking a uh, axis symmetric case instead of the complicated uh, complicated three dimensional simulation. So you can see those are the parameters. This is inlet R that means the radius of the inlet nozzle. So you can see this is the inlet and what is the radius here that is given here and this is nozzle length. This is nozzle R that means the nozzle radius and this is the nozzle inlet radius. This is the target L that is the distance to the target and this is the ARW that means air channel width. So uh, you can see here is air and the width is air channel width. So if I show you the geometry then it will be easier to comprehend how exactly Comsol has created the geometry. This is very simple you can see we can easily take a rectangle init initially. So what we do we just enable it and we build selected we click on build selected you can see the rectangle is created now the rectangle has width of inlet r that is the inlet radius you can see inlet r nozzle inlet radius and it has a height of twice of inlet r this is very i mean this is visible from the picture then we take a polygon just to create the tapered section of the nozzle. As you see in the nozzle, you have a tapered section. To create this, they have taken a polygon and how exactly a polygon works, you have to put the coordinates of the edges. Uh, initially, let me click on build selected. So this is the polygon. So this the upper part is the polygon. So in the polygon we have how many vertex 1, 2, 3, 4. So all the 4 vertex, I mean coordinate of all these 4 points uh, you have to mention and they have mentioned it here. So this particular point has R equal to 0 and Z equals to 2 into inlet R. And the other point this one has a radius of or the radial direction coordinate is in inlet R and the Z is equal, I mean similar, 2 into inlet R. Then comes this particular point. So the coordinate of this particular point is nozzle R, 2 into inlet R plus nozzle L. And this is the coordinate given here. So if you mention the coordinate, then you can create a polygon and this is very much useful. Once this is done, then we, they have created the other geometries. You can see this is how this geometry is created. Then another rectangle 
and the other one to create the upper portion so this particular portion is nothing but this particular portion so if you just want to if you just try to match it uh, one to one you can see this is the portion which is the portion here this is the tapered portion and this comes from here this portion is nothing but this portion and this one is given by the upper rectangle now what we do we take a function which is rectangular function and the rectangular function limit is chosen 1 micron to the 13 micron if we plot it we can see the nature of the function so here you can see this is a kind of pulse function or impulse function within 0 to this I mean 1 to 13 to the power minus 6 that means 13 micron and ultimately we will be using it as a second so in within 12 microsecond you have a pulse a pulse of velocity value uh, because what happens when you push uh, through a nozzle you you, 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 you you impart a velocity suddenly and again you stop so if you just visualize how exactly you take out droplets from a dropper so what do you do we push the dropper it creates a momentary velocity at the nozzle and the water comes out as droplets so just to mimic that we have taken this particular rectangular function then the geometry is created and we have taken actually they have taken the materials one is ink which is kept at the bottom part and the air which is kept at the upper part now we have to put the physics so what are, what would be the physics it will be fluid flow multiphase flow and in the multi-phase flow we have to work with the level set one so we choose the level set so this is the two-phase flow level set and laminar flow we choose laminar flow because taking out droplets through a nozzle is a very low Reynolds number flow and that's why we can go ahead with the laminar flow so in the laminar flow what we have in the fluid properties yeah, it is automatically mentioned that fluid properties will be taken from the material so this density and this dynamic viscosity will be taken from the coupling so you can see this TPF1 is the two phase flow level set coupling will be coming to this place <clears throat> but before that let me just choose the inlet and the outlet because this nozzle will have an inlet through which the momentary velocity vector will come so here is the inlet so we define this inlet and at the inlet we will have a normal velocity uh, and this velocity has a correlation with the function we have chosen so the function here is you can see this is the function so what would be the velocity that I have actually taken so this is the velocity basically it will have certain speed and that speed will be coming momentarily within the 12 microsecond and that's why what we do here is we go to the inlet and in the fluid velocity the normal fluid velocity we can choose it and then what we do we choose an outlet and you, your outlet will be here the top one will be or we can keep this one as outlet so this is our outlet where the static pressure will be kept at zero and similarly in the level set what we need to do is we need to define similar inlet and outlet so again our inlet is here and we have to take an outlet and our outlet is here so at inlet which material we have that we can see from here this is a two phase flow so you can see our fluid one let us choose the fluid one is 
so where is the fluid one so if you go to the level set so i mean at the entire portion now it is fluid one but let us divide into water and air so let us give initial value one as water so you can rename it it becomes easier to comprehend so i write it water and initial value fluid 2 I rename it and I write as air so the air would be the upper portion so this portion you have air so you write air here and water is the bottom portion by default it is being chosen and now you can see inlet so at inlet which material we have that we have to initially define here in the two phase flow coupled physics so let us keep the fluid 1 is the ink and fluid 2 is the water air and again this is water so our fluid 1 is ink fluid 1 is ink so this is not water basically water is basically ink here we are working with ink so yeah so ink is fluid 1 and air is fluid 2 so this is well defined now so it is asking for weighted wall let us keep this wall as weighted wall it will work fine so again i am recapitulating so we have defined the laminar flow physics where we have a momentary inlet velocity we have a constant pressure outlet we have defined the fluid properties through the materials we have defined the initial values as zeros in the level, level set we have taken same inlet and same outlet and we have defined where exactly ink and air is initially located and then in the two phase flow we have defined the fluid 1 and fluid 2 now weighted wall we have actually defined so then we have to go to study we have to click on add study and click on time dependent with phase initialization So for how long we will be running the simulation that will come from the console file. I have kept it here. So this is the time step we have to put. So we replace it here. We have to write range at the beginning. Yeah, we have written. So it is now defined appropriately. now we do one thing we right click here and click on get initial value steps then the initial results will come it will take some time okay it's asking that solution was is not computed it's okay we can actually now run the simulation before that yeah this meshing is done so once the meshing is done everything is defined appropriately let us click on the compute it will take some time i guess if it takes i will pause the video and come once again so you can see it has initiated the simulation and it is basically trying to solve for the different time step as it is a two phase flow it will take some time so let me just click on the pause button i'll come back yeah simulation is finished and you can see the result so let us see from the very beginning so at time equal to zero it is here let us zoom this section yeah so now we keep on increasing the time you can see droplet is coming out but we don't see a perfect droplet and I have discussed the same in my previous videos as well. The reason behind is here the surface tension force is very important because 
if you have a high surface tension then the droplet remains intact like a spherical shape but if you don't apply the surface tension force then the dispersion becomes very high so how exactly we can uh, we can include the surface tension force for that what we need to do we have to go here in the two phase flow coupling and you can see in the setting window you have an option include surface tension force in the momentum equation so we have to click on this uh, we have to check this option and then it will ask for the interfacial tension we can put as user defined so let me put uh, yeah this is this is the surface tension of water let me put this only and if we put that the equation will change a bit so if we go to the laminar flow and look at the equation so you have a surface tension force acting here and this surface tension force is given by it will be given here in their file let me show you so this is the surface tension force once we click on we can zoom it this is the surface tension force once we click on that checkbox it will actually include this force here and now it will be I mean the effect of surface tension will come so what we do is we redo our simulation go to study and click on compute again I'll come back once the simulation will finish yeah the simulation is over so now we have incorporated the effect of surface tension now let us see what happens once we progress with time so you can see yeah now it it comes out like a droplet or exactly how the droplet comes out through a nozzle so if we uh, see a three-dimensional view it will be much easier to comprehend so you can see here yeah here is the nozzle yeah here is the nozzle so let me go back to 0th time so at 0th time you can see this is flat as we progress with time you can see this is how the droplet is coming out you can see the shape yeah this is the shape so it is it is with the effect of the surface tension and again if we progress with time it will start necking so here is the necking now it will detach so let us see with fit yeah in the next time step it will detach yeah so this is how a droplet goes through a nozzle so today I stop here before I stop I would like to request you to subscribe to our channel because it will give us more motivation to upload videos thank you